Welcome to Ofio. In this tutorial, we will be showing how to create this interactive story in Ofio. We are creating a fun yet simple interactive game to attract viewers' attention, which gets audiences involved in making their own potato chips by tapping on the screen. Step 1. Create a new project. Let's create a new project from an empty canvas. Select stories for the dimension. Step 2. Upload assets. Before we proceed, let's upload our assets. Simply drag and drop the assets from your local folder to the canvas. It might take a while for the uploading process. Step 3. Create scene 1. Now we are ready to create our first scene. We will be using this image as the background for consistency. Let's insert the instruction here. It's best to keep it short and simple for easier understanding. We will be using the font bangers here. Change the font color to white. Then, add effect to our text. Under the edit tab, let's add a black outline and 3D text effects to our text layer. Place our text at the center of the scene. Add an arrow here to grab viewer's attention. Navigate to the graphics tab and select one from the arrow pack. Group both text and arrow layer, then add animation to it. We will be using Push from Small for the entrance animation and Heartbeat for emphasis animation. Let's place some potato chips in the surrounding. Add subtle drop shadow to the chips to give a 3D impression. Duplicate and use the Replace Image tool to speed up the process. Add blur effect to the potato chips to add some depth to the scene. Next, we will add animation to the chips. Use Slide for Entrance Animation and Float for Emphasis Animation. Stagger the entrance animation in the timeline for a more dynamic look. Hit spacebar to preview. Once ready, let's proceed to create the second scene. Copy the text group from the first scene with Ctrl plus C, we are going to reuse it in the second scene. Step 4. Create scene 2. Head to Scene, and create a new empty scene. Let's insert our first clip from the Upload tab. Navigate to Position at the top panel, and select Fit to Height to quickly resize the video. Now, let's paste our text from the first scene by pressing Ctrl plus V. Resize and reposition it. Edit the instruction if needed. Let's add a shape layer behind it for legibility. Head to the Graphics tab, we will choose from the Abstract Shapes pack. Adjust the color and size of it. Group it together with our text group, and bring down its opacity. Add animation to it too. Adjust the entrance timing of the text group on the timeline. Step 5. Duplicate to create scenes 3 and 4. Next, let's duplicate the second scene for the third scene. Use replace video function to quickly replace the clip. Let's increase the duration of the clip with the Trim Video function. Increase the scene duration to 5 seconds.
Let's repeat this step for the fourth scene. We will duplicate the third scene this time. Similarly, let's replace the video with our final clip. We will remove the text in this scene and reduce the duration to 2.5 seconds. Step 6, final scene that leads viewers to the CTA button. Lastly, let's duplicate the first scene for the final scene. Drag the copied scene to the end of the sequence. Let's ungroup the text and delete the arrow layer. Then, edit the text. Let's make our background image smaller to have a white border at the edge. Then, add roundness to its corner. Next, insert our product image. Adjust the size and position of the product image so it enters the screen from the bottom left corner. Let's add drop shadow to the product. Then, let's reposition our floating potato chips to make them look like bursting out from the potato chips pack. Add blur effect to the potato chips to add some depth to the scene. Adjust the entrance animation of the chips to slide up from the bottom of the scene. Let's add animation to our product. We will use a slide up entrance animation to lead viewers' attention to our CTA and direct them to click on our swipe up link or link button. Step 7. Insert music. Head to the music tab and choose a track that suits the video. Specify your selection by choosing a mood or genre from the categories. Drag the selection box to edit the music segment used in the project. That's it. Now we have our interactive social media story ready. We hope this tutorial gives you some inspiration for your creation in Ophio. See you next time.